fellowship program? The most important thing about a fellowship program is the fit. And there are two ways I tell folks to assess that. One is the city. Um, you're gonna spend a lot of time, at least three years in that program, and so you need to make sure not only do you like the program, but you like the city. Is it the climate you like? Is it proximate to your family? Does it have the recreational activities that you want to enjoy? The second piece is the fit with the program. And then you can't tell this from the website. You need to spend time with the program director, the division director, and the fellows. I use the term mouthfeel. There's nothing tangible about this. It's all about the intangible. What do you come away from that interview day with? If you get the heebie-jeebies and there's something you didn't like, trust that gut. I don't care how good the program is on paper, on the website, don't list them. If it, you love the program, you came away feeling great, doesn't matter what other people think about it, rank them highly because it's a great fit for you. When you're looking at programs, I think there are several things that are important for you. You need to figure out if you can live in the city where you're applying because your personal work-life balance outside of the program is going to be incredibly important. Then you need to see if the philosophy of the program matches with your long-term career goals. There are going to be some programs that are focused on training physician investigators, others that are focused on training very well-rounded clinicians, and then others that are going to settle somewhere in the middle. And so I think it's important that you look for a program that ultimately meets your long-term goals. I think the, the big thing or, or what the big thing to consider really in terms of picking a program is what are your uh, what are your long-term career goals and so you know if you're somebody who wants to uh, be very heavy into academics and, and research if you you know uh, if, if that's your, your your type of thing then you're going to want to go to a big program that has a big name that has uh, a lot of grant opportunities and, and a lot of leadership that's going to be able to do that for you uh, if you want to do you know do uh, some kind of subspecialty pulmonary hypertension transplant uh, interventional, those types of things. It's good to, to find a program that's got leaders in that field or additional fellowship opportunities where, where you can be, you know, have mentors in that area. Um, but uh, sort of trying to, you know, find, find a program that fits for you if, if you're, um, uh, depending on, on, what your, on what your interests are. So when looking at fellowship programs, um, the types of programs that you look at are really based on your vision for your career. So if you know you want to be a physician scientist, you need to go to a place and you need to apply to places that have a proven reputation of training physician scientists. If you want to be a clinician educator, you really should go to places that have demonstrated the ability to create uh, clinician educators. And if you want to go into practice, you need to go to a place that has strong clinical uh, training, which, which most programs certainly do. So I think that which programs to look at are really based upon the vision for your career and making sure that those programs can provide um, the substrate for you to achieve that vision. Uh, you should look for what uh, is serving you best and what you want to accomplish. Um, there are two basic general uh, programs of those that are more uh, research focused with an 18 uh, month and 18 month uh, program versus clinical focused of the 24 and 12 um, and then also uh, looking for uh, the city or um, and that serves you best as well as then uh, when you get to meet with program leadership and the and the rep and the fellows uh, at the program uh, how well you feel they mesh together and that you would fit in there. So the factors to look at in a fellowship, I would always suggest things that you think or, or know that you would need in your future career. Um, most fellowship as a basic structure, most programs should provide the same kind of basic structure stuff. And what differentiates one program from another is how well their faculty interact with their uh, trainees and any specific skill that that program would offer that you think you would need uh, or would like to know or acquire uh, for your future practice. I would look more at the pulmonary aspect of the program because I feel like um, there are many programs that give a, a great um, critical care training experience, but the pulmonary piece is where I would spend the most um, time in terms of your search, so looking at do they have lung transplant, um, do they have interventional pulmonary experiences, what is their pulmonary curriculum, their pulmonary rotations, um, because that would more likely differentiate programs from one from the next. I think one of the important things when looking at fellowships is to, uh, during the interview day, is to see how the fellows interact with each other, how they interact with the faculty, and overall how happy they are with the program and what kind of training they get. Well, I think when you're selecting programs to interview, it's going to be a similar kind of equation that you do for yourself is, what are my developing career goals? And again, those might not be completely developed at the time that you're interviewing. Uh, but what are my career goals and if I have a particular clinical interest, you'll want to select programs that also have that area available. 
examples that are easy to give are things like lung transplantation, which is not present at every program, or perhaps you have a particular interest in uh, cystic fibrosis or pulmonary hypertension. You want to make sure that those things are a clinical strength of the place that you're applying to if that's something that is an area of particular interest for you. But beyond that, I think, you know, most programs give excellent training. And so to find a place where your personality fits with the people in that program is probably something that you need to take into account and something that you can really only experience uh, on an interview day.